Hello YouTube and welcome to this video of my Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone XM4 Stoner 63 OP class. Um, I'm starting to feel in a much better now so hopefully next few days I am going to be able to get back to normal recordings. Um, but yeah so let's get started. I'm um, going to start off with the XM4 so you're going to start off with the HTC um, suppressor. So yeah you get increased damage, increased range and accuracy um, you lose a bit of mobility and control but throughout the rest of the class you can uh, fix that no problems so next we are going to go into the 30 13.5 inch uh, task force in barrel um, so got the accuracy down but increase your damage your range and your mobility back up um, and then we're going to go over across to the um, stock the radar pad so you're getting your mobility and control up again. Yes, you're getting your accuracy down, but the, the range and damage increase, it doesn't matter too much. And then for ammunition, we're going to go with Gunsmith Custom. Oh, I didn't realise that defects a lot. May as well add that. Had no idea. But yes, yeah, so we're going to go with a 45 round mag. And the reason why we go with this rather than the speed mag, speed uh, mag, um, decreases uh, mobility and it doesn't matter too much and the 60 messes up mobility 45 is about what you need and then we're going to finish it off with the fi field agent gripping under barrel this increases that the accuracy again decreases mobility a little bit but as you can see from the final stats doesn't matter mobility goes up the range and the damage goes up there's only a slight decrease in the accuracy and control so that doesn't matter too much so let's get on to the stoner 63 so we're going to start off again with the agency suppressor um, so I'll see you know what it improves um, also with the suppressor you're getting um, you're not your shots aren't sounding as loud which is a very good thing especially in the end game um, and then barrel we're going to go with a 21.8 inch task force so, um, gives you uh, more damage more range and increases your mobility and then we're going to go over to the optic which is a fission tech times 2 just gives you a good um, range for looking for long distance and increases your accuracy um, I personally go with fission tech uh, 2 I find it perfect and um, but you can use any whichever one you feel more comfortable with um, then we're going to go over to ammunition so we're going straight up with the 150 uh, round fast mag uh, obviously LMGs take a while to reload so with a fast mag it's helping a lot with a quick reload time and then field agent um, grip just to increase our accuracy so as you can see accuracy has gone up loads damage and range are up by a lot which is really high to control doesn't matter too much mobility again doesn't matter too much as long as you've got that damage range and accuracy up um, but yes so what I recommend is so you get your first load out obviously and you get this so you have to take up perk to with overkill so I'm going to start off with a quick fix and then uh, I use uh, then use tracker just so you can see where the enemies are running and then you go over to perk 2 and when you get your second load out is when you get a class with ghosts so as you can see you're not seeing my UAVs radar drones and heartbeat sensors just one thing though if a team gets um, a blackbird which is three UAVs they can see anybody no matter what um, and then I personally use the flash grenade and the semtex but C4 is also good Yes, you can use a heartbeat sensor, but a flash grenade stuns them, gives you that little advantage in a fight. Sorry about that, but yes, yeah, so that is going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, then drop a like. Haven't done so already, then subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Later.